What's my favorite element? That's, that's an incredibly hard question. There's so much to choose from. But I think if I may, um, I think I'd like to choose two. And those two are praseodymium, first of all, and, and you can see it here in this sealed glass vial. And the other one is going to be neodymium. And neodymium you've probably heard of because it, it's a component of the strongest magnets that you can get. And you may think that's a bit of sort of poor acting, but actually this stuff sticks to steel just incredibly strongly. Well, praseodymium and neodymium really come, come together in an extraordinary way, and they're used by glass blowers. So let's go down to the glass blowing shop. Now, it may seem a little bit odd to be talking about praseodymium and neodymium in a glass blowing shop. After all, glass, most people know, is made of silicon and oxygen. But actually, there's an additional element in the glass which is very, very important for glass blowers, and that's sodium. And the moment a glass blower actually puts a hot flame to a piece of glass, the sodium vaporizes, and you get a very, very intense orange glare. And this is where those two elements come in. Praseodymium and neodymium, which the names come from the green twin and the new twin, sort of linked together as a material called didymium. And these glasses here are made of didymium glass. What they do is they absorb the light produced by that sodium flare. And so if we take these glasses and we actually put them between the camera and the flame itself, you'll see how magically the sodium disappears and the spinning glass is revealed. And the reason is because the absorption of the praseodymium and the neodymium together acts as a bit of a notch filter and it snips out just the orange color associated with the sodium. And that means that a glass blower can actually work with his vision unimpeded by the brilliant orange flare of the glass. It is fantastic and it's something which changed glass blowing forever. <laughs>